Welcome to another episode of Let's Discuss, and in this one, we are going to be talking about the question of how often do you really listen to your records? Be honest. I think it's a topic worthy of discussion because as a collector who also loves listening to records, I've thought about the reality of the situation of how often I get to listen to records in my day to day, especially my collection as a whole, and it's definitely a complicated issue. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on so you don't miss out on any videos I put out, and please give a thumbs up. Now let's continue. I have a lot of records. That's the whole point of this channel. I'm probably close to 3,000 these days, and having a big collection versus having a small collection are going to be very different when discussing this topic. The first thing I want to say is that I listen to records a lot. Um, I find that, especially as of last year, I, you know, I work from home. A lot of you don't know this, but I do work a full-time job. I work in marketing and business development. A lot of people think I do this channel full-time. I actually spend a lot of time doing my job and then also focusing on this channel, the record label, etc., etc. I, I tend to burn the candle at both ends, uh, so I do appreciate you guys appreciating the stuff that I'm putting out. That being said, the past year I got to work from home for obvious reasons and it really increased the amount of time I could listen to records during the day when I'm working unless I have a call or something I can listen to records all day and it's a great way to kind of get through the backlog. It's awesome. On a non-traditional day I often like to wake up, have some coffee, listen to a record. I love to listen to a record before bed to kind of wind down. I tend to listen to, you know, at least every day one record but sometimes four or five depending on, you know, the day which is great. The problem is when you have a big collection, you're always acquiring new records, whether you're getting mail orders in or you're getting, you're going to the store and you're picking up a haul, there's always a new record to add to the backlog. And for me personally, my backlog is enormous. So out of the shelf in my to listen to pile, I have two line phono things completely full. I have one, two, three, four bins of records totally full, five, forgot about one. There are five bins in this room, plus the two line photo shelves of records that are to listen to. Um, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff to get through. And the fact that there's still always more coming, it almost starts to feel a bit like a chore to get through my backlog. Because in my head, tell me if you guys agree with this, I have this thing where I feel guilty listening to a record that I've already heard that's in my shelf before listening to one that's new. And partially that's because you want to make sure there's no imperfections, make sure there's no defects that you would have to replace in the you know time period you have before you no longer have the grounds to do so. That's one aspect of it. But the other aspect is just trying to sort everything and get it all on the shelf so you're not stuck with a ton of records that are unorganized and uncategorized into your collection. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. If you can, leave a comment and let me know what you think about that. But the reality is, I have a lot of records in this shelf, albums that I love, albums that were on my top 100 list of all time, that I've only listened to the record maybe once. Because, again, there's just not enough time in the day. Realistically, I know people that say, oh, I listen to that all the time on vinyl. And I'm thinking to myself, do you have five records? Like, how do you listen to one record all the time, especially when most people are constantly buying new ones, maybe not at the same crazy rate that I do, but most record fans I know are usually waiting for stuff on pre-order, go to stores every now and again, pick up stuff. There's always things coming. So even if you get to a collection of 200 records, you can't be always listening to X record because there's a ton of other records to listen to and ones that are coming in. So I just want to know how you guys kind of deal with this phenomenon of trying to get through your backlog and listening to the records that you truly love. I wish I could invent more hours in the day. I wish I could make a day 40 hours and have that extra 24 plus turn into just record listening time, freezing time, being able to just appreciate the collection. But unfortunately, that's not the way the world works, as we know. So there's something interesting about the idea of having a big collection but not getting to listen to majority of it most of the time. And I've said in previous videos, I have a collection that I would love to take with me throughout my whole life. I have a lifetime to listen to these records. If I have the itch to pull a record out, I hopefully own it if I love it and I can put it on at any time. The reality though is that the collection's always in flux. You know, there's always some that you may be trading or selling. There's always some that you're getting in. And because of that, there's always a new record to listen to, that new shiny object. Like when I have a huge bin of records out here that I want to listen to, there's tons of records in there that I love that I bought for a very specific reason. But if a record comes in the mail that day, in my head, even if I don't love that album more than the other ones, my gut is like, listen to that one. And it's a very weird kind of like recency bias or some like new sparkly object theory where it's like the new thing is always better than the old thing. 
And I feel like that gets really tricky when I love all these records. There's a reason I have a big collection. It's because these albums all mean something to me. But being able to listen to them on a regular basis is almost an impossibility. The question I have for you for this video is how often do you really listen to your records? What records have you listened to a lot and why have you listened to that one more than other records in your collection? I kind of just want to know your relationship with your records and be honest with yourself because it's easy to pretend like, oh, I listen to records all day, every day. Like you just have a million free hours a day. But the reality for most of us is that that's not really the case. So I'd love for you to share your thoughts on this subject. It is kind of more interesting than you may think it is because I, it's something that you don't really think about until you really take the time to do so. There might be something to be said about having a smaller collection because then you have a smaller pool to listen to and really appreciate, but I guess the flip side of that is you will start to wear the grooves down faster if you have only 20 records and you're playing them every couple days. Those are gonna get, you know, worn out faster than if you have a big collection and spread it out more. So again, a lot to consider. I would love to hear what you think about it. So make sure you drop that comment below. We got more videos coming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching Too Many Records and uh, look forward to the next one. Take it easy.